Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing four healthy, filling and nutrient-rich oats recipes ideal to include in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipes. To make high protein instant oats dosha into a bowl, I'm adding in one cup of old-fashioned rolled oats. I prefer to use old-fashioned rolled oats as they are high in fiber and less processed. Half cup tur dal, also known as sambar dal. Half cup chana dal, also known as kadala perpa in Malayalam. Half cup black split urad dal. Instead of black urad dal, you can use plain urad dal. Half cup green moong dal. Add in some water. I'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times or until the water runs clear. Once rinsed, I added some more water. Into this, I'm adding in four to five whole Kashmiri chilies. And I'm going to allow it to soak for about five to six hours. Now, if you're planning to make this as a quick instant breakfast, you can soak this overnight. And if you're planning to make this as a quick instant dinner, you can soak it in the afternoon or in the morning. The idea is to soak it for about five to six hours at least so that the phytates in the dals and oats are released. Phytates are nutrient inhibitors which prevents nutrient absorption. So I'm going to soak it for about five to six hours. Five to six hours later, the dals and oats are nicely soaked. So I'm going to transfer it to my blender jar. I'm adding in the soaked whole red chilies. Because the red chilies are soaked, it will be easily blended. Adding in the soaked dal and oats. Into this, I'm adding in one and a half cups of water, one teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds, half teaspoon hing, also known as kayam or asafoetida. Jeera and asafoetida not only gives an amazing flavor, but also helps with digestion. Pink Himalayan salt as needed. For some extra iron and folate, I'm adding in two sprigs of curry leaves. This is entirely optional. And now I'm going to blend this into a dosha batter consistency. Pour the blended batter into a bowl. This batter will stay good in the refrigerator for a couple of days. Hence, it is an ideal way to meal prep. You can make instant high protein oats dosha as a breakfast or as a dinner. Heat a cast iron tawa and grease it with wood pressed gingerly oil, also known as sesame oil or till oil. Reduce the flame to the lowest and pour in one to one and a half ladle full of the dosha batter and spread it out as thinly as possible. Drizzle in A2 desi ghee or any wood pressed oil of your choice. And once that side is cooked, carefully flip it over. Remember that I'm using a well seasoned cast iron tawa, hence the dosha will not get stick to the tawa. And once that side is done, carefully flip it over. And serve the crispy high protein oats dosha with the sambar or chutney of your choice. Into a bowl, I'm adding in half cup old-fashioned rolled oats. I prefer to use old-fashioned rolled oats because they are high in fiber. However, you can use instant oats if you prefer. Into this, I'm adding in some water and I'm allowing the oats to soak for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, it's about five minutes now. I'm going to add the oats onto a strainer and rinse it under running water. Okay, now I have rinsed the oats under running water and I'm going to keep it on the strainer like this. I'm heating my cast iron kadai with two teaspoons wood pressed coconut oil. Instead of wood pressed coconut oil, you can use any locally sourced wood pressed oil of your choice. You can also use A2 desi ghee instead of wood pressed oils. Once the oil is heated, add in half teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. Once the jeera splatters, add in half onion, finely sliced. Give it a stir. I have finely chopped one green chili, three cloves of garlic and one fourth inch of ginger. I'm adding it into the onions. One fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. 
and give it a good mix. Allow the onions to saute until transparent. And once the onions are transparent, some fresh curry leaves. Just tear the curry leaves and add it in. I like to use curry leaves in my recipes as they are a good source of iron and folate. Into this I am adding in 1 4th cup green peas, 1 4th cup grated carrot, 1 4th cup chopped capsicum, pink Himalayan salt as needed. Reduce the flame to the lowest and give it a good stir. Drizzle in 1 tablespoon water, cover and allow the vegetables to get cooked. Instead of the vegetables I am using, you can use any seasonal vegetables of your choice. You can also use green leafy vegetables which are in season. About a minute later, open the lid, give it a good stir. Add in the soaked and rinsed oats. 1 4th teaspoon freshly ground black pepper powder. 1 3rd teaspoon garam masala. Give it a good mix. Cover for about a minute. After about a minute, open the lid. Give it a good stir. Sprinkle some chopped coriander leaves. Turn off the flame. Squeeze in half a lemon. Give it a good stir. You can enjoy this as a filling meal for breakfast, lunch or for dinner. Into a bowl, I am adding in half cup old fashioned rolled oats. I am adding in some water. And I am going to wash and rinse it a couple of times. Once rinsed, add in some more water. And allow it to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the oats are nicely soaked. So I am going to wash and rinse it a couple of times and then I am going to keep it on a strainer. I am also using a tablespoon of soaked black raisins in this recipe. Okay, I have washed and rinsed the oats and I have kept it on a strainer. Into a sauce pot or a saucepan, add in one and a half cups water. Turn on the flame and lightly warm the water. I am adding in one stick of cinnamon just for flavor. If you don't like the flavor of cinnamon, you can totally omit it. Once the water is warm, add in the strained old fashioned oats. Give it a stir. Add in a fat pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Give it a stir. And allow the oats to get cooked on medium to low flame. Also remember to give a little space in the lid so that the oats doesn't spill over. While the oats is getting cooked, I am grinding one fourth of a nutmeg into a fine powder. Once ground, keep this aside. Let's check on the oats. Cover and let it cook for another 5 minutes or so. The oats are nicely cooked now. So at this stage, I am going to sweeten the oats. I am adding in 1 tablespoon organic jaggery. This is crushed organic jaggery. Give it a stir. If you don't prefer your oats to be sweet, you can totally omit it. But do not use honey to sweeten your oats as honey should not be heated or used in very cold foods. Instead of jaggery, you can use maple syrup, coconut sugar or palm jaggery. Adjust sweetness as per your taste. And lastly, I am adding in half cup nut milk. You can use any nut milk of your choice like cashew milk, almond milk, coconut milk, any nut milk you have at hand. I have already shared how to make cashew milk, almond milk and coconut milk at home. Please do check them out. Give this a stir. And once it starts boiling, turn off the flame, cover it with the lid and let it sit for about 2-3 to three minutes before serving. So that the oats will slightly thicken. And 3 minutes later, the oats is perfectly cooked. It is of the right consistency. So I'm going to transfer it to a serving bowl. Sprinkle in the ground nutmeg powder. 
the soaked raisins. And my super healthy oatmeal porridge is ready to serve. Let me just show you how perfect the consistency of the oats is. You can enjoy this as a filling, quick and easy breakfast meal. To make high protein oat smoothie, into a bowl I am adding in 3 tablespoon old fashioned rolled oats. I prefer to use old fashioned rolled oats as they are high in fiber. Into this I am adding in some water and I am allowing the oats to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Those who have noticed having digestive issues like gas, bloating, indigestion when consuming oats, it will be ideal to soak it for a longer period like maybe one to two hours or even an overnight soak. Okay now it's about 15 minutes and the oats are nicely soaked. So I'm going to add it into a strainer and then keep it under running water so that it will get rinsed. Okay now the oats are strained and rinsed and now I'm going to add this into my blender jar. I'm adding in the soaked oats into my blender jar. Into this I'm adding in one glass or one cup of water. To make this high protein, I am adding in 1 4th cup of roasted peanuts. Peanuts not only gives protein and fiber, they are also a good source of natural healthy fats. Natural healthy fats helps in better assimilation of fat soluble vitamins. So always try to make sure there is a good source of healthy fat in your meals. For some added fiber, protein and omega 3s, I am adding in 1 tablespoon flax seeds. Now, for those who are in doubt whether the flax seeds will get ground along with the ingredients, it will get ground along with the ingredients when it is being blended. There is no need to add in flax meal or ground flax seeds. For added protein, fiber and omega 3s, I am adding in 1 teaspoon chia seeds. You can increase chia seeds up to 1 tablespoon if you prefer. For flavor, I am adding in a stick of cinnamon. Cinnamon not only gives an amazing flavor, but also helps to boost your metabolism. Now, if you don't have a cinnamon stick at hand, you can use half teaspoon cinnamon powder instead. So, I am just lightly breaking the cinnamon stick into smaller pieces and adding in so that it will get blended easily. For sweetness, I am adding in one soft medjool dates. You can increase or decrease dates as per your sweetness. And lastly, I am adding in one ripe banana. Note that the banana I am using has black spots. The more riper and the more black spots the banana has, the more sweeter it will be. I am roughly slicing the banana into the blender. And I am going to blend this on high speed until everything is nicely mixed and combined. Pour the blended smoothie into a serving glass. You can see how creamy the smoothie is. I am garnishing the smoothie with a teaspoon of roasted peanuts. This will also give an amazing crunch to the smoothie. And lastly, I am sprinkling in just a fat pinch of cinnamon powder for an added flavor. And my super healthy fiber and protein rich oats breakfast smoothie is ready to serve. So guys do try these oats recipes and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.